The following video contains step-by-step -step instructions on how to maintenance the 6 through 8 inch Derringer 30 double check detector assembly backflow preventer. These are the tools required. Close the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two shutoff valve. Open test cock number four. Open bypass test cock number two. Open test cock number three. Open bypass test cock number one. Open test cock number two. Do not open test cock number one. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the couplings on both sides of the meter. Remove the bypass meter. Examine the meter coupling gaskets for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Reinstall the meter and retighten the couplings with an adjustable wrench. Use an adjustable wrench to remove the check valve cover. Remove the spring from the valve body. Remove the check poppet from the valve body. Remove the seat assembly from the valve body. Examine the check cover o-ring for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. Examine the spring for damage. Examine the check seat for damage and debris. Examine the check seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace if necessary. If debris is found on the check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. Debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the check disc retaining screw. Remove the check disc retaining washer. Remove the check disc. Use a flathead screwdriver if necessary. Install new check disc, making sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the check disc retaining washer. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to retighten the check disc retaining screw. Reinsert the check seat assembly into the valve body. Reinsert the check poppet into the valve body. Reinsert the spring into the valve body. Reinstall the check cover onto the valve body. Use an adjustable wrench to retighten the check cover. Use a socket wrench to loosen the eight cover bolts. Keep the tapered washers with the access cover bolts. Remove the valve access cover. Using a socket wrench, loosen the first check retaining bolt on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Remove the first check from the valve body. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the tower screws. Separate the tower assembly from the check seat. If debris is found on the check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. Debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Examine the seat for any debris or damage. Examine the seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the seat o-ring if necessary. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seal disc retaining screws. Remove the seal disc retainer to expose the disc. Remove the seal disc. Install the new seal disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. 
Reinstall the seal disc retainer. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the seal disc retaining screws. Reattach the tower assembly to the first check seat. Make sure the tower assembly is in the proper orientation before tightening down the tower screws. Make sure the check seat protrusions are at the top side of the check. Make sure the check spring arms and the tower bosses on the tower assembly are facing upwards to allow the check to swing open downwards during operation. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, re-tighten the tower screws. To remove the second check, use a socket wrench to loosen the check retaining bolts on both sides of the body until flush with the inside of the valve. Use a flathead screwdriver to gently remove the second check from the valve body. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the tower screws. Separate the tower assembly from the check seat. If debris is found on the check seal disc, the check may just be fouled. Debris can be cleaned off to make the check seal properly without having to replace the check seal disc. Use a rag and some water to clean the debris off of the check seal disc. Examine the seat for any debris or damage. Examine the seat o-ring for damage and debris. Replace the seat o-ring if necessary. Once the debris has been cleared from the check disc and no damage is present, the check can be reassembled and reinstalled into the valve body for testing. If damage to the check disc has been found, please take the following steps to remove and replace the damaged check disc. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the seal disc retaining screws. Remove the seal disc retainer to expose the disc. Remove the seal disc. Install the new seal disc and make sure it is completely flat inside the check cavity. Reinstall the seal disc retainer. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, reinstall the seal disc retaining screws. Reattach the tower assembly to the second check seat. Make sure the tower assembly is in the proper orientation before tightening down the tower screws. Make sure the check seat protrusions are at the top side of the check. Make sure the check spring arms and the tower bosses on the tower assembly are facing downwards to allow the check to swing open upwards during operation. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, re-tighten the tower screws. Reinstall the second check into the valve body. Make sure the O-ring seals properly to the surface. Retighten the second check retaining bolts on both sides of the body. Make sure the check retaining bolts don't bind against the check. Install the first check into the valve body. Make sure the O-ring seals properly to the surface. Retighten the first check retaining bolts on both sides of the body. Make sure the check retaining bolts don't bind against the check. Examine the access cover o-ring for damage or debris. Replace the o-ring if necessary. Place the access cover onto the valve body. Install the tapered washers onto the access cover bolts. When reinstalling the access cover bolts, engage all eight cover bolts one thread. Hand tighten all eight cover bolts. Using a ratchet wrench, tighten down the four corner bolts. Tighten down the four remaining bolts. Slightly open the number one shutoff valve. Close the number two test cock. Close bypass test cock number one. Close the number three test cock. Close bypass test cock number two. Close the number four test cock. Fully open the number one shutoff valve. Perform a backflow test according to your local regulations to ensure the check valves have been repaired properly. 
fully open the number two shutoff valve. For more information about the Derringer product line, further technical support, or to download a copy of these instructions, please visit our website at backflowdirect.com.